Paddock Park. P A D D O C K P A R K. Hi, it's Josh Beat here with the Capital TV again, and right now I'm talking to Paddock Park. We're up in the Capitals' newly opened game loft. All right, Paddock Park just headlined a pretty crowded show tonight, so you know, forgive the fact they're all sweaty. But uh, so, like I said, I'm here with Paddock Park. Who are you guys, and what do you play in the band? Rex, <laughs> can I play drums? I'm Patrick, and I play guitar. I'm Sanders, and I play bass. I'm John, and I play guitar. I'm Brian. I do all the screaming. I'm Jason, and I do vocals. All right, so how did you guys come up with the name Paddock Park? Uh, it's a pretty interesting name, so it's a pretty big name that's around right now. <laughs> um, well, last year when um, we formed the band, I was living in Paddock Park Apartments, so... Uh, it seemed like a cool name. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> at the time. Simple. Yeah. At the time, quick name. <laughs> Luxury Apartments on yeah. State Road 200. Paddock Park. Paddock Park. Paddock Park. Paddock. All right. So, uh, what are some of you guys' influences, like uh, music, like your musical influences, either individually or as a whole? Uh, who's first? Go first. I'll go first. <laughs> you guys oh. are borderline retarded. Let's start from this side. <laughs> right. uh, I'd have to say Neil Peart, um, Vince Sevenfold, the gay, but you know, amazing okay. drummer. That's about it. Another say what probably got me started was uh, Pennywise and Bad Religion. Some, and, uh, some sublime. Some sublime. Some music. Yeah. Agent Orange. Get the uh, 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 Actually, yeah. actually, wait. If it sounds yeah. kind of stupid, but uh, Tom DeLonge from Blink 182. That band actually got me started with playing guitar. Is that and what made you play tonight? Yeah. 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 Never. Totally never. Um, my musical tastes are. I listen to a lot of like hardcore stuff, uh, like Maylene, things like that. I uh, also listen to a lot of like bluesy sounds, so pretty much everything, but like country, like, listen to a lot of rap, you know, like Lil Wayne, things like that. Yeah. Uh, Lil John, one of my favorites. Hey, I'm not done. Uh, <laughs> um, pretty much things that sound like us and everything around that, excluding country, but mostly rap. Um, yeah, I don't really play this music. I listen to jazz and blues and Celine Dion, and Elton John. But for real, I like Amir a lot. I like, who else do I like? I like, <laughs> no. Do you remember? No. Shut up, guys! I'm trying to think of who I like. First we take I like First We Take Manhattan, because they sound a lot like A Day to Remember. Um, <laughs> a lot, like almost a lot, exactly. Like, almost like, almost exactly. exactly. It's like the same band. Uh, <laughs> yep, just whatever. Um, I also like Thrice, and anybody with good guitar players in it. Thrice is amazing. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they are. They're bros. Um, I don't know. I grew up listening to a lot of hip hop, but uh, <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, uh, recently, I've been in a lot of hardcore, like Amir and um, I don't know, Amir. I like Amir a lot. And uh, Sayerson, listen a lot of Sayerson. So hip hop, Sayerson, and Amir. Woo! And for 
me dashboard. have to be Dashboard Confessional. Yeah. Probably my favorite band of all time. Uh, listen to a lot of Chiodos. Copeland is a biggie. I used to be in the and, and then Stab the Sky. Yes! yes. Stab the Sky. Yeah, Stab the Sky is our homeboys. I gotta say that Stab the Sky. Alright. So let's reel it back in. What are some big plans you guys have? I heard I heard you guys uh, talking about some really big stuff. So how about you tell the fans about it? Um, <laughs> we're talking about really, really good labels stuff. right now and working out deals and for our next release, our next uh, our first roll length actually. So we have an EP out. Yeah, right we, now. we have an EP right now uh, with False Hope, but we're writing new material for our full length and we're gonna release it to a label. So sometime this year we'll have full length out. Yeah, buddy. Are you guys have any uh, you know tours or shows coming out that people should know about? Yeah, we have a show here at the Capitol, July 26th with Enwell. They're awesome. Come check it out. Twelve dollars. You can buy pre-sales online for ten. For ten. And uh, we're going on tour in what a month with. Uh, uh, yeah, Afterlife like Dying, um, Newfound Glory. Yeah. Um, Set your goals. Set your goals. goals. They're starting. They like, they're. Uh, for us. Yeah. And Hannah Montana. Hannah yeah, Hannah Montana, Montana is our opening. We're going on a big uh, world takeover. They're not playing, but it's going to be there. Yeah. All right, so do you guys have a uh, MySpace? Nope. You can check out now. MySpace. Nope. Go on our tour. MySpace.com slash Paddock Park. Paddock. Paddock. Two D's. Two D's. Ow! Double D. P A D D. Okay, wait. Shh. Come back. DK. MySpace.com slash Paddock Park. Fuck that. Yeah. Wow. Um, so check out Paddock Park, myspace.com slash Paddock Park. A lot of good things going to be coming from these guys. Check out the Capitol and come upstairs and check out the Game Loft because some really cool stuff going on up here. For Capitol TV, I'm Josh B. And we're Woo! Paddock Park! Copeland eats so much. Yeah. This kid is just throat and Holy butt. That's it. Jeez. Wow. I wouldn't want to eat that. Look at no, that. he still will. We no no no. It's here, bring it back not, here. We went to Walmart there. the other day, and John's like, "I want to get a snack." John comes back with one of those like foot long, three inch thick beef jerkies and a box of milk duds and a bag of M and M's and a soda. He's like, "Dude, I'm just a little hungry." You gotta feed your mama. I brought home like two trays of pulled pork from work. He ate it. In like one night. It was gone. Pizza, nothing. We can't leave any food at the house because John Copeland, all he does is eat. Oh, why are you filming that? Because that's really gross. Just saying. I mean, it's whatever, whatever, but I'm just saying. Not going to lie. I'm mostly upset that that just happened, actually. Right, huh? Because everyone, like, grabs on it and people drop it on the ground and step on it. You want to see a magic trick? No. Booyah! Ah!